All right, y'all, Growing Up Hip Hop Season 7, Season Finale. Let's get into this recap. Okay, so boom, Pep was meeting with her son Tyran, right? And they was talking about how Salt and Pepper got their start on the Hollywood Walk of Fame. Congratulations to them. And then Pep brunk up Aegis Wedding. And Tyran instantly caught a whole attitude. He said he's still trying to figure out if he going because he found out that when her and Sam eloped, that it was other people there. He thought it was just Pep and Tretch. But no, it was other people. And he said that Egypt is on some make-believe stuff. And Pep said that she was mad about the little pop-up wedding too. And he said that he is broken because he was not invited. And an apology is not going to fix it. Everything cannot be fixed. And he is not going to their second wedding because she wanted him at the first one he would have been there and he told pep that he feel like he putting on the show and he finna go see his whole family and they not gonna know nothing about nothing when it comes to him and i mean his feelings are valid because that's her only brother why was he not there he should have been a third call after your mama and daddy ma'am now we see tretch and lazy bone meeting up to talk about the 50th anniversary of hip-hop and tretch is performing now mm, this conversation went left real quick because lazy asked tretch how was he doing and baby he had a lot to say tretch said that sam be coming out of his face talking about him calling him out his name and he don't respect his elder so now he don't have no respect for sam he said that sam knew that he was marrying into a royal family and that sam is a broke builder and he took advantage of the situation and he don't want to be around sam tt not going to the wedding tyran not going to the wedding and guess what he not going to the wedding either he said that he is done with sam and sam better stay out of his way Oh, he finally seen the light. He has finally seen the light. Now, no, Egypt is not going to leave Sam just because her daddy don't like him because she don't care who don't like Sam or who keeps telling her what. She going to have to see it for herself, child. But... Tretch, I'm glad you ain't on that train no more. So Angela and Romeo finally had their conversation at the Salt Cave, whatever that is. And Romeo said he just wanted to apologize and he want to grow at the space that they at right now. And he was telling her he wanted to catch up. And she was like, you know, two years is a long time to miss out on somebody's life. And he said that he felt like he needed to pop up at TT Party unannounced because the last time they seen each other, it just went left. So, Angela was like, let's cut through the BS. Like, when everything happened, where was your head at? Like, we was cool friends. Your views on me, like, what was you on? And he said that it was not personal. And she was like, well, it felt personal. And he said that he's sorry. If she felt like it was personal, he put his pride to the side. He should have been had the conversation. And Angela, like, baby, the relationship would never be the same. And he said that he wished that he could rewind. And he just want peace. And he's sorry that he didn't have a conversation with her. Because he didn't think it was that serious. And Romeo is not really taking accountability for the situation. You said what you said. You was not playing. It was personal. And that's just that. Talking about, oh, we take jabs at each other all the time. Boy, that was personal. That was a personal attack. Point blank, simple, and period. So... He was showing her pictures of his daughter. And Angela was like, okay, you got a daughter, so are you married? And Romeo said that he is baby engaged to his baby mama. He is an engaged man. And Angela was like, okay, I see you out here, baby marriage. Congratulations. And she said, baby, the chapter of her and Romeo is done. But ain't it been over? Because y'all ain't talked to each other in two years, so ain't like we was waiting around for y'all to talk anyway, sis. Eric is FaceTiming Sam just to check up on him. And they was talking about Sam and Egypt wedding. They got 165 people coming in Egypt that's seven months pregnant. And Sam said that he gotta go to get sentenced on the first. And Lil Easy E was like, hold on, what you mean sentenced? So, Sam is going to be on probation because the prosecutor and his lawyer agree on that but the judge could overturn it but usually if the prosecutor and the lawyer agree to that that's what it's gonna be and sam is like the judge can overturn it but i gotta accept this i ain't no sucker and boy why you always gotta be so tough we don't believe you sam and we don't want to see nobody in jail i don't wish jail on nobody at all but it's like boy take your probation and sit the hell down because baby it could have been worse now angela is meeting 
drinking with her sister Vanessa and she was telling her about her little chitty chitty chit chat with Romeo and she was saying that it went good she didn't know what to expect but it went good and she can't be upset because he apologized and she said that if Romeo did not come to TT party she wasn't gonna reach out to him because for what and she said that um you know they cool she don't see them hanging out but they just cool and then Vanessa was asking her about her date in life and she said that she don't want to talk about her date in life because she feel like she been talking about her date in life since she was younger but baby we all know your Gotti is slapping them cheeks baby we know it went down in the DM. the 50th anniversary of hip hop is finally here child and you know we could not have one event without it being some drama and who brings the drama all the time Cree. She comes in, everybody is in a good mood, and she is immediately throwing shade at Brianna, talking about I was in a good head space, and then I saw this girl with this bonnet trying to talk to me, and I don't like her, she don't like me, it's an issue. And JoJo and them like, it's just positive vibes, like, it shouldn't be no issue. So Sequoia overheard what Cree was saying, and she told Brianna what she was saying, and Brianna was like, hold on, because I just said, hey. So Brianna was like, uh, I'm I'm starting with you now, bitch. What's up? You want a show? We finna put on one. Baby, I cannot take Cree. I hope she do not come back for the next season because she is... I can't. She is so fake and phony. And you always speaking about positivity, but you always starting with the negativity. I don't get it. So y'all know Brianna gonna keep it real. So she like, baby, what's the problem? And Cree being so childish, talking about I don't have any drugs. I don't have any drugs. I can't talk to anybody with alcohol on their breath. And Brianna like, baby, I'm ready to punch this bitch. But we at Tiny and Lazy events, so I'ma keep it cute. And Cree steady trying to just do little childish stuff to my aunt hand, you know, like a kid and Brianna just ready to fight she said that she don't have a personal problem with Cree but she don't care like she don't give a fuck about this girl and Jojo went over there to check on Brianna she said look baby I'm good the only thing I said to her was hello but baby it could be an issue we can meet in the parking lot but they didn't do that let it go so everybody performed at the 50th anniversary and everybody did really good twist had the best performance okay not bias but he had the best performance and everybody is so proud trash performed everybody performed and it was really good so the last clip of the finale was sam and egypt's wedding and tyran did, oh, he did walk egypt down the aisle because he said he could not turn his back on his sister even though he feels some type of way trash did not go he said he felt like he made the best decision for his family not to go aka he was gonna end up putting his hands on sam he said that it's important for families to heal but certain wounds are too deep and he said if sam has to go to jail then egypt is gonna have to be strong to keep her head up but she gonna be good ultimately and egypt did look really really beautiful in her wedding dress the wedding itself looked very beautiful and baby i ain't got nothing to say about sam and egypt and their relationship may god bless child but yeah y'all that was that on that i would not be back next week to do a recap because ain't no more episodes to recap child that was the season finale we are done through finished but i will be posting other videos so come back for that watch my other videos like comment subscribe let's have a conversation down in the comment section below also follow me on all my social medias they will be in the link description down below and yeah it's your girl Cindy renee and i am out of here y'all peace